Ciao a tutti, oggi farò un'introduzione in italiano. Vi farò vedere come ho imparato l'italiano. Mi sono trasferita in Italia nel 2014, quindi quasi sette anni, e era per motivi familiari e quando sono arrivata qua per forza dovevo imparare italiano per poter comunicare uh, con le persone qua. Diciamo che ci ho impiegato circa due anni per raggiungere il livello B2 e ho imparato italiano abbastanza veloce perché parlavo francese e inglese che è un po' simile all'italiano. So back to English now and I'm going to show you guys these books that I have for ages and I learned the basic from these books like buongiorno, uh, buonanotte, ciao, etc. But I stopped using them um, when I started high school. They are very useful if you are a beginner. Also had dictionaries um, that I use also in school and a book only for verbs. So I started high school and at that time I wasn't speaking any single word in Italian. Um, I was speaking English and French with my friends and teachers. Um, this is my very first Italian copybook. Basically, I had Italian courses um, in the afternoon after school. It was two times a week. Those hours of lessons did help me to learn the grammar. I attended the classes for two years. Sometimes the teacher would repeat the same grammar rules. And the trick here is just listen even though you don't understand a thing. I did not understand a thing at first, but I will keep listening to it because eventually I did get used to it. Things got complicated when I started learning literature, but I did not give up. I'm proudly out of high school now after passing my exam. So even though I was able to have a very simple conversation with my friends and teachers, I wasn't ready for this. There were so many complicated words I didn't know. So obviously I was searching the words and then write the meaning in English. But my teacher always said to me, search the meaning in Italian. So like write the synonym in Italian. Don't mention English or your own language. That really helped me to learn new words and also to help me practice. Another thing that helped me to really learn Italian was speaking. As I'm living in this country, I speak Italian every day. So if you have the possibility to speak Italian with someone, do it. Or you can also speak Italian at home, alone. Just try to have a conversation with yourself. I mean, trust me, it really works. Like speaking is the key. Now, even at that time, I was seeking help from the internet and I have found this Italian teacher on YouTube. Beside her YouTube channel, she also has a site where she explained the Italian grammar rules. Together with speaking, listening is also very important. I started discovering Italian YouTubers. I'm just gonna mention a few and I usually watch like random videos, them playing games or makeup. La grazie a non so chi siamo ancora salvi, ma questa cosa potrebbe... Una vecchia collezione di carpisa. Ah, ok. Uno spazzolino, uno spazzolino, uno spazzolino, che poi lo... Ciao a tutti e bentornati. La sezione è fare un brindisi allo scoccare della mezzanotte. Sì, folettini e folettine, bentornati in questo nuovissimo video. Prima cosa che volevo dirvi è che finalmente sono riuscita ad andare dal parrucchiere, fate il colore. Listening to Italian really helped me to learn the vocabulary without even knowing I'm learning the vocabulary. Voglio dire, ok, tutti sappiamo che Trina può essere molto noiosa. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.